Hello everyone, this is SNW Gallery and we are here at Kim K. Spears Studio on the corner of 8th and Yuma Street and uh, in the lovely historic part of Manhattan and we're gonna go in and have a little chat with Kim as she's gonna show us around her Airbnb and she's gonna show us our studio. So stay tuned. Hey everybody. This is Kim Casebeer, and welcome to my studio slash Airbnb. I'm going to show you around for a little bit, show you my Airbnb first, and then we're going to uh, look into my studio so that you can see where I work. So um, I came up with this idea several years ago to have an Airbnb that basically helps me pay for the studio. And so we kind of, I, I work both businesses and um, most of the time the Airbnb is available on weekends and then I work in my studio during the week so it works out really well. So this is the living room space and as you can tell I have lots of artwork everywhere um, in all the little nooks and crannies. I have art books because what artist doesn't have art books right? So there are art books that People can look at that I that I refer to all the time. I have art in the in the spaces, um, unframed and framed. It's it's a true artist studio. Not everything is framed all the time. Um, this is my art dog. <laughs> this is Matilda, and she's an Australian Shepherd, and she gets to come with me to my studio every day. And as you can tell, she's very much at home. <laughs> um, yeah, and so here's some art on the walls, and I should probably tell you guys that um, I can move any of these to the gallery. If anybody's interested in a particular piece, you can let me know, or you can let Alan know, and we can bring it over to the gallery, and I am going to bring some of this artwork to the gallery, so that um, even if you haven't made a request, some of it's going to go to the gallery. Um, yeah, so here's another, here's a piece of, um, from the Tetons, from the Grand Teton National Park. I paint there a lot. So not everything is Kansas. We have work from really all over the United States in this, in this space. I okay, so this is the bedroom and kitchen area of the Airbnb. As you can see, it's really more of a studio bedroom space. Um, it's a queen size bed and there are uh, dressers and then we have a, a table for four over here and I like to put out little snappy items so that everybody can feel at home. Um, just like in the living room space, there's a lot of art all over in this space. Um, there's a painting from California. We really have all of the United States here, Colorado, Kansas. Um, there's some other work over here by the bed. And it's just, I really try to make it feel very homey. And there's Matilda making her presence known. There's a little armoire here for people to put their clothes in and uh, and a mirror too which you can't maybe you can't see but it's right no. behind the door there yeah and then we'll walk this way to the kitchen it's a galley kitchen so you know nothing too fancy but it's this is an old house this house was built in I think it's 1924 is when it was built um, and it has um, some interesting history. It was a, for a while, maybe was a, a single family home, and then it was a duplex, and then it was a daycare. And they opened it up, so that's why it has big rooms, and now it's a studio. So it's, it's kind of, has some interesting history. Um, this is a pretty simple kitchen, dishwasher, refrigerator, stove, microwave, and I keep dishes in here for everybody to use. So now we're in my studio space, and this is a space that only I go into. I lock it off uh, when somebody is staying here in the rental. Um, so 
I hang art everywhere on every wall. There's um, all of these paintings are framed, obviously, and available for sale. I also have unframed work, a lot of plein airs. Most of my plein airs are unframed. Um, so a lot of the little pieces that you see sitting around are um, plein air paintings. And I have some uh, tripods out because I just got finished with an Instagram Live. So something new that I started with the COVID thing, we're all online, and I started uh, creating an Instagram Live with my friend Cami Mendley. And we have, let's see, I think this is the fourth week. We just finished, um, we call it Canvas and Coffee with Cami and Kim. And we do it on Instagram Live, 10 a.m. Thursday mornings, which for some people works and some people can't catch us at that time. But the beautiful thing about Instagram Live is that afterwards it's saved to Instagram TV. So you can find the series, the episodes, on my page, Kim K. Spear Artist, or on Cammie's page, Cammie Mendlick. And you can go, we go back and forth, so you have to look at both of our pages to see all of the episodes, because we couldn't figure out how else to do that. So, so anyway, it's kind of fun. We talk art. Uh, some of it's related to, like, artists will be interested. Some, I think, collectors will be interested. We talk about our process. We, today we talked about art books, so I got to show a lot of fun art books that I have. Um, like, here's an example that is out because of our canvas and coffee. Uh, this is a Russian impressionist, Isaac Levitan, and I don't know if they, if you guys can see it, but it's, it's in Russian. So that's not why I buy the book. I don't buy the book because I can read it. <laughs> I buy the book because it has amazing, uh, let me see if I can find a big plate and hold it up. Well, no, no, we're good. We're good. I, I, uh, I can there. tilt it down. There we there go. We go. So I, this is why I bought the book because it has these amazing color plates of his work, to study his work, because he was um, an incredible Russian Impressionist. Um, yeah, so we just, we talked, we talked to art books, which was super fun. Um, oh, I also have, while we're here, I also have the newest issue of Plein Air Magazine. I haven't even told Alan this, so I don't know if she knows. Um, I don't know if I'll find it right away. I think I, I have, I think, have I, ha I think I have got a copy. Did you get a copy? I think um, I got a copy. Because I have an article in here. Oh, Cammie. fabulous. Cammie and I have an article in here, which now I'm not finding right away. We'll find it. Yeah. We'll find it. We'll share it. Yeah, okay. I'll find that in a minute. But, um, yeah. So, this is where I work. This is, so, yeah, the canvas and copy is why the tripods are all over the place. Um, this is, this is where I stand most most of the day. <laughs> um, this is my easel. You can see it's, this is why I bought this easel. This is not a cheap easel and it's not easy to install but once it's here it's amazing because I can move it with two fingers like back and forth and also up and down. I know, isn't that amazing? Yeah and I've actually have, we've taken this apart and put it back together three times because of three different moves. Um, and it's not easy, but it, it works. I mean, it's just, it's, yeah, it's a piece of art in itself. It really is. It is. It is. It's amazing. And I'm not really it's doing got it a justice little... right now with the tiny little painting on here, but I can put two paintings. I can put one here and one here if I'm working off of one. Or the main reason I bought it with the two masks is because I can paint very large paintings and it stays very, stay, stays stable. So, yeah, that's, that's why I have that wow. incredible easel. Um, I don't know if they can see these, uh, these files down oh. here, but this is yes. where all of my like, plein air paintings are. I keep them in file, in, in these, in these uh, vertical files, and, and then I have some in-process paintings over there. So that's how I sort of keep my stacks of paintings organized. Um, yeah, and then here's my, here's some more art books that were from earlier. I don't know. Do you know Norma Bassett Hall? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. I talked about her. Oh, 
Oh, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, One of the prairie printmakers. Yeah, and beautiful work. Beautiful yeah. work, yes. Yeah, um, people are always interested in, in the, uh, the palette. Right, because that's as, as oil painters, that's where our that's what our work is all about is the, the paint we use and the palette we use. Um, this is a tabaret I've had for years. Works pretty well. I just it this is about I think it's about 20 by 30, maybe not quite, but it's about that size, so it's big. And I put all up my tube paint out and then all my mixtures that I'm used from some other painting out there on the side, and then I have all this space uh, to mix and my brushes and oil paints and the uh, odorless mineral spirits everything palette knives everything has a space in this in this tabaret which works really nicely including the coffee including the coffee right yes. my bright pink cup and right. your beautiful northern light yes you noticed that right i noticed that yes this it does not have super high ceilings that is the one thing i gave up but it has nice northern light windows mm -hmm. so and and we then we installed some really like some very low profile like a big bank of low profile lights mm -hmm. that are daylight all those bulbs are are mm -hmm. daylight bulbs so that i get a nice even temperature sure. Sure. in here yeah mm -hmm. yeah so that works really well and then i have some flat files over here for paper and uh more panels because artists don't have enough art supplies ever right never we collect mm -hmm. art supplies mm -hmm. that's what we do um and then over here is where i frame over here at this table this is my framing table that my lovely husband made for me years ago and there's another piece of equipment that we've moved many times <laughs> and it's not easy it comes apart thankfully because it's right. way too big <laughs> yeah so thank you for coming to my studio and um, once again if anybody is interested in a particular piece if you saw anything on the walls that you find interesting uh, let Alan know let me know and we'll we'll see if we can get it to you yeah thank you thanks Kim and um, we will be switching over to a live q a here in the studio in just a minute we pre-recorded this on thursday and um we hope you'll stay tuned we probably are going to have to switch over to another facebook live feed but we will have that posted on our facebook page thanks everyone we'll see you soon